let's do this problem. Uh, it says the most stable conformation of cis 2 terc butyl cyclohexanol is a chair with the OH group, okay? And I guess it's implying that it wants you to determine where the OH group is axial equatorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw the structure and then draw it in the, the most stable chair conformation. Okay. And um, we can go from there. So it says it, the molecule is cis um, 2 terc butyl cyclohexanol. Okay, so cyclohexanol is that, but it says cis. So it wants some stereochemistry involved. And uh, the tert butyl is on the number two carbon. So it's going to look something like that. Okay. So now we're going to translate this into a chair structure. Okay. So like that. So I just make this one one, this one two, like that. This one one, this one two, okay? So we'll do this one where, since this is up, right? At the up arrow, that means it's going up, so it's axial, okay? Um, if you want to, just to remind yourself, there's a hydrogen there at the equatorial position. This one's up, right? And this is a down arrow, so the down is axial. The hydrogen's there, right? So the turt butyl is actually what? Equatorial. Very good. Okay, so we're going to put it like that. In fact, this is the most stable conformation because the turt butyl group, that's a very big group. That's like the most sterically encumbering group, so you definitely want that to be equatorial. Okay? So just to show you, right, I'm going to show the other chair conformation, okay, and it'll make this. Um, axial, okay, and this one equatorial, and that'll be bad. So, in other words, if we do a chair flip, this conformation is much more favored, okay? So, draw like that, okay? That's one, that's two, so, so you see, now we've got that group equatorial like we would prefer it to be. But now, this group's still up, but we chair flip, so now it's axial. That's a huge group to be axial with, okay? So, um, the most favored chair conformation is with the hydroxyl um, in an axial position, okay? And the turbutyl in an equatorial position. I think that's one of the answer choices. So, okay. Any questions on that one? Okay, wonderful. I think the main point of these types of things is you want to find where's the biggest group, put it in an equatorial position, okay? And once you do that, put everything around it, okay? So if it was a methyl group and then the OH, would the OH be more? No, no, still a methyl group is bigger, okay? Because you want to think it's uh, C with three H's on there, okay? And O, it's kind of as big as a carbon, but it's only got one H. It's still the same thing, okay? Yeah. So, it's, you're gonna, you want to think more like a carbon group with more carbon groups off of that thing. Those are really sterically hindered. But anything like, yeah, so like more, if you want to think of it that way, yeah, more substituents off of that particular atom that's coming off of that um, cyclohexane ring, okay? Wonderful.